Hi friends! Today we will learn a new concept, which is succession. Succession is the orderly and natural stepwise development of various species in the ecosystem and their dependence that forms a complex interlinked ecosystem. And in the process of succession, the dominant plants and animal species living in an ecosystem are replaced by new species over a long period of time. So succession involves very gradual and continuous changes that result in the formation of a new species in the environment that leads to the extinction of previously existing weaker species of plants and animals. Plants play a very important role in succession as they are the sources of food and shelter for every species of animal in the ecosystem. And during the process of succession, environment conditions gradually change that are ideal for new species rather than pre-existing ones. So now we know what is succession. Now let's learn the type succession, primary succession and secondary succession. First of all, let's learn about primary succession. Primary succession happens in an area where there was no life before. For example, a landslide, volcano, or earthquake may create a large area where there's no life, so only newly exposed rock exists there. Now on this rock, you can imagine that a forest may grow with a lot of animals and birds interdependent on each other. Yes, a forest can grow that happens by the process of primary succession, and it happens not in years, but centuries. And this is what is called primary succession. And today we will be learning how does it happen. So let's start. So let's start. First of all, on this rock, lichens will colonize. And lichens use photosynthesis to make food and to grow. They produce acids that will help them absorb nutrients from the rock and air and in this process, the rock is broken down into soil, so the lichens produce soil. And this newly formed soil is picked up by lichens or a stick to the surface of lichens and forms a thick layer of lichens. And this layer keeps on growing as more lichens die. As your main lichens along with the newly formed soil keeps growing and on this thicker layer of soil, mosses can live, so mosses start to grow. Now mosses and lichens, that is together with the dead remains of lichens, mosses form more soil. And ultimately there forms enough soil on which small plants can grow. When the small plants grow, their roots break down the rock below and enhances the production of soil. As the rocks break, the finer particles of rock create soil and on this freshly formed soil, grasses and weeds begin to grow and the level of soil continues to rise. All these things, their dead remains keep forming soil and this creates a thicker, richer layer of soil that enables the growth of even larger plant species, like taller shrubs. And these taller shrubs compete with smaller grasses for all types of resources like water, soil, nutrition, and sunlight. And the grasses die out because shrubs compete with them for the resources, and then there grows a thicker layer of shrubs, and shrubs provide better shade to the seedlings to develop and ultimately tree grows there. Now trees too compete with the shrubs for a lot of resources and eventually shade loving herbs and shrubs under the tall trees develop and the rest of the plant species die out. And this is succession. Newer species that grow with the changing environment conditions keep growing and the previous ones keep dying out. So this was about the succession of plant species. Insects and animals also grow along with this succession. For example, a grasshopper feeds on grasses, so it becomes a part of the ecosystem and grasses grow there. And when shrubs develop, 
the species that eat grasshoppers develop and become a part of the ecosystem, like frogs and rats. And they develop species that eat these frogs and rats, like snakes and eagles. And in this way, the ecosystem expands with every succession. So, this is primary succession. Let's revise it all. Primary succession happens in an area where there was no life before. For example, a landslide, volcano, or earthquake may create a large area where there's no life and only newly exposed rock exists there. Now on this rock, a forest may grow with a lot of animals and birds interdependent on each other. Yes, a forest can grow and that happens by the process of primary succession. And it happens not in years, but centuries. And this is what we call as primary succession. And today we will be learning how does it happen. So let's start. First of all, on this rock, lichens colonize. That is, lichens grow. And lichens use photosynthesis to make food and to grow. They produce acids that help them to absorb nutrients from the rock and air. And through this process, the rock is broken down into soil. So the lichens produce soil. This newly formed soil is picked up by lichens or stick to the surface of lichens and forms a thicker layer of lichens. This layer of lichens keeps on growing as more and more lichens die. As remains of lichens along with the newly formed soil keeps growing and forms a thicker layer of soil. And in this thicker layer of soil, mosses can live. So, mosses start to grow. Then, as the dead remains of lichens was making soil. Now, mosses, that is, together with the dead remains of lichens and mosses, also forms more and more soil. And ultimately, there forms enough soil on which small plants can grow. When the small plants grow, their roots break down the rock below and enhances the production of soil. As the rocks break, the finer particles of rocks create soil. On this freshly formed soil, grasses and weeds keep growing, and the level of soil continues to rise. That is, all the dead remains keep forming soil. A thicker, richer layer of soil forms, that enables the growth of even larger plant species, like taller shrubs. And these taller shrubs compete with smaller grasses for all types of resources, like water, soil, nutrition, and sunlight. And these grasses die out because shrubs compete with them for the resources. And then there grows a thick layer of shrubs, and shrubs provide better shade to the seedlings to develop. And ultimately, trees grow there. Now, trees too compete with the shrubs for resources and eventually shade-loving herbs and shrubs under the tall trees develop. And the rest of the plant species die out. And this is what is called primary succession. Newer species that grow with the changing environment conditions keep growing and the previous ones keep dying out. So, this was about the succession of plant species. Insects and animals grow along with the succession. For example, grasshoppers feed on grasses, so they become a part of the ecosystem and grasses grow there. And when shrubs develop, the species that eat grasshoppers develop and become a part of the ecosystem, like frogs and rats. And then, and then, they develop species that eat these frogs and rats, for example, snakes and eagles. And in this way, the ecosystem expands with every succession. So this is primary succession. Wasn't this so interesting? Catastrophes like floods, earthquakes, and volcanoes may turn a fully developed ecosystem into an area where there is no life or no plantation, and yet a new ecosystem can grow there. 
This is called primary succession. Now we will learn what is secondary succession in our next section.